Hey book nerds, welcome to my channel. So today I have a pretty big audiobook haul for you. Um, Audible did this insane sale for their 14th birthday where every single day they had a different 100 audiobooks on sale for £3 and they did this for a week so I've been thinking for a while that I'm going to end my Audible membership because I've just been hoarding audiobooks. Um, I've been buying them with the daily deals and I've been buying them, buying them with the buy one get one free sales and all that stuff so I'm, I'm set for a long time is what I'm saying so I have ended my Audible membership and this was kind of like the last hurrah of the haul which is why there's so many and that's definitely how I'm justifying it. Um, I will restart my membership should I ever listen to all of these. So the first one actually represents three books so we're off to a fantastic start and that is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I got Cinder, um, Scarlet and Cress I think. I got the first three. They were all on sale for £3 each. Um, I've been wanting to read Cress for a while now but I think it's quite a hefty book and it just intimidates me whereas with audiobooks the longer the better because I feel like I'm getting better value for money that doesn't really make any sense but that's how my brain works um yeah so I got all three of them in, in audiobook I don't know when I'll listen to them but the next book was an impulse buy a lot of these will be impulse buys as you'll see uh that is The Dragon Keeper by Robin Hobb this is a fantasy book and it is about two women who um, live in a community where they care for these dragons and then they get told that they have to move because they're a liability so it's about their journey in moving these dragons to the new home I'm still searching for that perfect fantasy book that has dragons in it and fingers crossed this might be it the next book I was so pleased to snag in the daily deal because I've been after it for ages and that is There's Something in the Water actually it's just Something in the Water by Catherine Steadman this has been on my TBR for ages and I couldn't get a copy. Um, I was putting off just buying the ebook for some reason and I think it was because fate told me that it would be available in audiobook for super cheap. So yeah, this is a thriller about two newlyweds who go on holiday and they discover something in the water. And you don't get told what it is, but you get told that they're trying to decide whether or not to keep it a secret or whether they should tell someone about it. Is a thriller? Could it be a body? Could it be dark? Mystery? I don't know what else it could be. It's probably a body but yeah I'm really excited for this one and I'll probably be higher up my list of priorities. I'm really pleased to get the next one and that is Six Stories by Matt Wesolowski. Definitely pronouncing that wrong. This is on one of my um, thrillers that I really want to read in 2019 and it's basically about a podcast um, it's a guy who runs a podcast and he's interviewing six people about the disappearance of a teenager from long ago. Um, I'm really happy I got this in audiobook because the podcast element makes it really cool because they've got different voices and stuff. Um, I've not listened to Sadie but I think it's like Sadie. So I think this will be a really good audiobook experience. I have started listening to it a little bit. But um, <laughs> I was listening to it on the train and I kept falling asleep, which is not an indication of quality against the audiobook, that's just what happens. The next one I've already listened to, and that is The Disaster Artist by Greg Sestero. If you watched my June wrap up, you know that I gave this five stars. I love this book, I've read it before. The audiobook was a really good experience, I definitely recommend it. It's narrated by Greg Sestero, who um, is the author. It's a non fiction about his life making this movie called The Room, which is an insane comedy. And basically, because um, he's narrating it, he's an actor so it's told really well but he also does a fantastic impression of Tommy Wiseau who is the madman behind this movie and yeah it was just a really enjoyable audiobook and very glad I got it. The next one I'm unsure as to whether it'll be a good decision or not and that is A Class of Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin. So I read the first book of Game of Thrones ages ago and I decided that I would rather watch the TV show because the books weren't quite for me but like most people since the series has ended I kind of want to get back into the books um, and my library has the first Game of Thrones book which is why I haven't got that one but it doesn't have any of the others and I was gonna wait until I listened to that 
but the waiting list has just gone up so high since the series ended that I thought I'd just get the second one with my credit and also I'm not sure I really want to re-listen to the first one because I have already read it um but yeah I don't know whether having it as an audiobook will make it harder for me to follow the plot because I do switch off a little bit with audiobooks sometimes it's a very long fantasy one the next one I really don't know how I feel about it and that is Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty so my mum read this and she told me she specifically wants to know what I think about it which <laughs> scares me a little bit this is I don't think it's actually a thriller it's being marketed as a thriller but I'm pretty sure it's more like a general fiction story with maybe some thriller elements it's by the author of Big Little Lies and it's about a woman who goes to a retreat with presumably eight other people who she doesn't know and then it gets really vague and it implies that scary things are going to happen at this retreat but I think that it's more like contemporary things will happen at this retreat. The next book I got was My Sister the Serial Killer by a Yinkin Braithwaite. Again sorry if I've mispronounced that. This is a super short audiobook but I've heard such good things about this story that I couldn't resist picking it up and it's basically about a woman whose sister is a serial killer and she's used to kind of clearing up after her sister's murders um, to stop her sister being arrested but then I think the main character falls in love with the guy who she thinks her sister's gonna kill or something happens there that means she's not so sure she wants to help her sister anymore that's kind of all I know about it um, it seems like it's gonna be a really quick listen and yeah I yeah, just like the story concept so much the next one is a thriller and it is Closer by K.L. Slater. You'll notice a lot of the deal of the days that I pick up are thrillers that I don't really know a lot about but I do enjoy listening to thrillers. Um, I find it a different experience to reading thrillers so I like listening to more police procedurals and stuff which I don't necessarily enjoy reading and it's because I think because I switch off more so the bits that I'm not as interested in don't bore me as much if it's like an audio experience. But yeah, there's a lot of random thrillers on this one. This is about a woman who um, her ex-husband moves in with a new woman and our main character starts to think that her daughter, who's living with them, is in danger. And that's like the plot of that one. The next one is the perfect example of what I was just talking about and that's The Infirmary by LJ Ross. This I purely picked up because it was the deal of the day and it's a full cast like audio drama. I cannot find anything about the plot. It's like, just sounds like a standard police procedural. There's like murder and a police guy is investigating the murder. So I don't, I can't tell you what else it's about, but it was super cheap and it was full cast. So I thought I might as well get it. it um, I'll probably really enjoy it. So I can't say a lot about the next one. That is The Girl With All The Gifts by M.R. Carey. This is a horror book and the description's really vague and it's basically about a girl who I think is in some kind of facility and I think the book's told from her point of view and you don't know why she's in the facility and she's not aware that she's in a facility. Um, it's really brief synopsis and it's really creepy so I recommend checking it out yourself if you think you might be interested in this book. I've heard a lot of people mention this book, I think it's really good and like well received in general. Um, Netflix just did like a short movie of it as well which I really want to watch so I'm going to try and listen to this one sooner rather than later. So the other kind of impulse buys I have for audiobooks are non-fiction audiobooks. For example, Bad Science by Ben Goldacre. This is literally just about like bad science. So I think it's about incorrect science that most people assume is correct and the nature of doing science properly. I've studied that kind of subject a fair bit in psychology because psychology is one of the sciences that gets a lot of scrutiny and is also really flawed in that a lot of studies aren't replicated and people kind of take them at face value so while it is super scrutinized it's also not scrutinized enough and it's this weird combination of things but yeah I really enjoy non-fiction and I do struggle to read it like with my eyes sometimes I find it I can like I can't read it as long as I can read a fiction book whereas with non-fiction I can listen for longer so there's a couple of impulse non-fiction buys on here the next one I can't really explain even to myself why I got it and that is One Day by David Nichols. So I've seen the movie at least twice now and I've read the book at least once, maybe twice 
I don't really like any of the characters in it and I don't really like what it does or says about friendship and the movie in particular I think something happens at the end that really negates the whole story and makes it mean something completely different that it shouldn't mean and yeah I found myself buying this audiobook because for some reason I want to listen to the story again um uh, I don't know what it is about this book it's um a contemporary by the way it's a romance about these two people who meet on like the last day of college and they become friends it's a girl and a boy and they almost sleep together but they don't and then um it's about like their friendship through the years on this one specific day and you see where they are at that point in their lives on that specific day and yeah it's not great but I kind of like it the next book was a case of perfect timing and that is the long way to a small angry planet by Becky Chambers I have a book club with my friends from university um we kind of started up semi as a joke but it was like a proper book club and then we um stopped after like there's five of us in this book club we did like one cycle I picked another book and then we stopped because like we all moved to different places and it became harder to maintain I met up with them recently and we all decided that we wanted to keep the book club going and that was the book that was picked so when I saw it was on sale as an audiobook I thought I'd get it um it's a sci science fiction book and it's about a, like a group of misfits traveling through space I don't really know a lot about it it's meant to be quite humorous um I'm not into my science fiction but my partner said that they think I'll enjoy it and I do trust their judgment so fingers crossed it'll be up my street the next one was a book I've never heard of and I don't know if that's a good or a bad sign but it was Beside Myself by Anne Morgan this is described as a literary thriller and it's about two twins who play this game where they swap they pretend to be the other person basically and one day they play this game and one of them refuses to change back so they're stuck being each other until the adulthood and it's about how this has affected the lives of both of them i just thought it was really interesting i really like the cover as well it caught my eye instantly um i don't know how good it'll be but i really like the sound of that premise so another impulse buy mainly because this is a really really long audiobook the once and future king by th white this is just like the Arthur mythos. Um, I think the audiobook's like 57 hours or something. It was £3. I'm quite interested in King Arthur and more particularly when I read the reviews it said it was really well narrated and it was told in a really interesting way which was my concern that it would be too dry so I think this would be a nice way to kind of refresh what I know about King Arthur and also hopefully learn some new things. Next we have another random police procedural the Various Haunts of Men by Susan Hill. Um, don't really have anything else to say about it. We have another thriller, that is The Murderer's Son by Joy Ellis. I haven't actually read anything by Joy Ellis, but I've got a couple of her books on my TBR. This is about a man who confesses to a murder, but the police aren't sure that it's him. And then they find out, and he doesn't know, but they find out that he's the son of a famous serial killer. And he was like adopted so he's got no idea and then it's kind of about the way that the police trying to work out whether he did it or not um i've got a couple of books in my tbr that have similar premises and i really like thrillers that explore whether like evil is hereditary or not when it's done well impulse non-fiction by a history of britain in 21 women by jenny murray i am very interested in feminism pretty interested in history don't know a lot about it thought this combined those interests perfectly next I got Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo I got the audiobook of Six of Crows a couple of months ago and I listened to it during um, in May for the mental healthathon and I really liked it I wasn't sure about the audiobook format but when I saw Six of Crows um, Crooked Kingdom was on sale I thought I'd pick it up because it's got the same cast and I did really like it it's just I can't follow the story that well because it is like a fantasy um but I would like to listen to the audiobook and then I'll probably read the book of both of them just to get like the full picture of the story another impulse non-fiction by the time traveler's guide to restorative Britain by Ian Mortimer I've got a couple of these I picked them up from work I think I've got the Elizabethan 
one and then I think I might have um, Medieval England as well. They were available as audiobooks but I didn't buy them because though I don't know where my physical books are I'm almost certain that I do own those as physical books somewhere. So I did show some restraint at least. Did I need this next one? No. Did I buy it? Of course I did. It's Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman. I read this book last year, absolutely loved it, thought it was way better than Scythe. It was one of my favourite books of the year, I think. And The Toll is coming out really soon in October. So I'm going to re-listen to Thunderhead to remind myself of the story and also to experience it in kind of a different way. Next we have Helter Skelter. The True Story of the Manson Murders. I said that way too cheerfully. Uh, this is by Vincent Bugalosi with Kurt Gentry. This was, again, I picked it up mainly because it's a really long audiobook. It's like 27 hours. I think I own the ebook of this. Um, as a psychology student, I'm pretty interested in like crime and serial killers and that stuff. So I've got loads of books about serial killers. Uh, probably too many for people to assume that I'm normal, <laughs> but I have a lot of them and I just thought this sounded interesting. Next I picked up Wicked by Gregory Maguire. I probably wouldn't have got this if it wasn't on the deal, but I've been kind of debating reading Wicked for a few years now. Um, I saw a musical, I loved it, and I know the book is very different from the musical and it's that kind of thing where I want to experience a story I love but really differently and when I saw it was on deal I was like yeah I'll just get it I'll try it I might not like it but it'll be interesting so yeah I got How the Mind Works by Steven Pinker non-fiction psychology book I got Fascinating Footnotes from History by Giles Milton again non-fiction history book kind of my jam and finally from that deal I got Forensics, The Anatomy of Crime by Val McDermott. I haven't read anything by Val McDermott, I had one of her books on my TBR and then I realised it was really problematic so I took it straight off. But this is a non-fiction book about her experiences working with the police force and I thought that sounds really interesting so I'm gonna give it a try. And finally, finally, last daily deal purchase, Doctor Who, The Master Collection. I'm a massive Doctor Who fan, this is like the narration of a couple of the episodes starring the Master but the like audiobook format of them. I think there's like four or five stories in here which is a really good buy because it's about £3. And yeah, I really used to like listening to the Doctor Who audiobooks when I was younger and I would like to try and get back into them. That is all of the audiobooks that I bought. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out massively. Let me know if you've read any of these, or if you listened to any of these, what you thought. Also, let me know some of your favourite audiobooks down below, because I still have one credit to use before I can actually cancel my membership, and I really cannot decide what to spend it on. So yeah, um, I will see you next time.